Hello! I didn't see you there! Hey guys, this is Jordi from Power 3D Printing. Today I want to make a video of a baby stepping. No, no, what do you do when you're trying to learn something that you're not really good at? Baby stepping is a function in Marlin that actually allows you to change the position of the Z axis on live, like live time. So the idea would be that you can get perfect layers every time and get good addition, you know? something nice to learn. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to push the code and what to turn on on the Marlin and then I'll show you what it looks like in the 3D printer. Let's get started. Alright, so this one is a super useful function of Marlin. Go ahead and open the file wherever you extracted the firmware that Marlin copied the first time and look for the Marlin file, open the next Marlin file. I'm going to show you a trick right here where it says type. Go ahead and click on it and it's going to put it in alphabetical order which is the only one named Arduino file is the Marlin file so go ahead and open that one I had already opened it for us here all these tabs are going to be our permanent instructions the one that we want to turn on right now is the configuration advanced H you want to click anywhere in the screen in your keyboard you want to press control F and it's going to find the word baby on the define tool and close that down. The very first one it's going to find is probably one of the only words where the word baby appears on this code is baby stepping. So you want to move down right here. You notice yours will be defined, undefined like these will be basically will be uncommented. Uh, the, and the rest of them pretty much should be commented for you other than the C Pro or some configuration along those lines. The first thing I want you to do, I want you to click right here. I want you to highlight those two words. I want you just to just remove those two forward slashes that makes the code active, that defines baby stepping. And now I want you to undefine the X and the Y because very seldom you're ever gonna use that. I really don't see a point even to have them on the menu line. Um, the invert C is, I set it to false in my case. Basically what it says is that if I give it the positive position it's going to move to the positive position if I give it to the negative it moves to the negative if you put that to true it's going to do inversion on the direction wherever you move it to um, I don't know why you want to do that anyways the next one would be the fine uh, multiplicator go ahead and set that to 10 if you leave it on one it's going to take forever for you to adjust so it won't be as useful as, as it should be if you set that to 10 it's going to do it a lot faster it's going to adjust and you're going to be able to measure how much it's adjusting on real time with your eye all right so the next one i need you to undefine if you don't have a c probe or define if you have a z probe if you have a bl touch or a proximity probe go ahead and define that what i was going to do is going to your c offset is going to be combined with your baby step so when you finish setting up the baby steps for the first layer when you click on the screen to dismiss it it's going to record that as your offset so as long as you stay on the same material your layers will be pretty consistent um, you want to define double click for baby stepping which means when you click on the screen you want to click twice and it's going to go ahead right away for baby stepping instead of you having to go through the menus to find the actual uh, baby stepping function and double max interval that doesn't really matter just leave it like that that means that if you push the button and you leave it pressed like the post instrumenter or the center button on your LS LCD if you push it and leave it pressed it's going to go to baby steps right away now with those all turned on uh, in any configuration that you want to have it go ahead and verify the code and upload it to your board and here in a second I'll show you guys on camera what it looks like when I am adjusting it and what it looks like on the LCD. See you in a bit. Now I can actually make the nozzle move down. Notice that the layers are not sticking right now. The more I move it down the layers begin to stick. And I notice that it says C offset, so I'm going to make it a little lower, so I want my layers to actually stick right now. So, the reason I say C offset, as I say, is because my baby steps are combined. 
And again, I can make it go up where it's not sticking at all. Or I can make it go down where I'll begin to lay layers again. See? And the moment you click that screen, it permanently records that information until you either reset the machine or change filaments. So, now you know what it looks like when you turn it on in the Marlin. Now you know what it looks like when you turn it on in the printer. Um, I hope you like this video. Again, uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can find us on forward3dprinting.com or you can find us on Facebook group Forward3D Printing. That's what you're hearing in the background. It's my boy. I gotta go. You guys have a great day.